Today we're making ice cream with two ingredients, heavy cream and sweetened condensed milk. We're using no machines, just a mason jar. We're actually gonna be using three ingredients today, but you only need these two to make an ice cream base. A few weeks back, I saw this New York Times article about uh, mason jar ice cream. Very simple stuff. So I did a little bit more research on it, looked at a bunch of recipes, and then I found one from Gemma at Bigger Boulder Baking. She broke it down into two main ingredients. The sweetened condensed milk is essentially milk with sugar. Boom, it gives you an ice cream base, which then we can add whatever flavors we want. And today we're gonna add some really good quality vanilla beans. Vanilla beans come from Madagascar. And they're so aromatic that even right now, I'm just getting slammed with vanilla smell and it's ridiculous. Good quality stuff. This is gonna take something very simple and take it to another level using a good quality ingredient like this. So we're just gonna slice that pod open and then with the back of a knife, push all of those seeds into our ice cream base and then we have vanilla bean ice cream. You could do it with chocolate, you could crunch up Oreos, you can make this kind of any kind of ice cream you want, blend up strawberries, boom. But today, I'm gonna show you the base. We're gonna test it out, see if it works, and if it's something you're gonna wanna make at home. The only other ingredient you're gonna need, or tool I guess, is a mason jar. I would recommend getting one that's built for freezing. These ball mason jars are freeze worthy. If you have a small mouth mason jar or something that's not gonna freeze well, I would recommend making this in a mason jar and then freezing it in some kind of cork container or something like that. The idea behind mason jar ice cream is not that you can store it in a mason jar, it's that you can make it in a mason jar. It acts like a, a machine sort of so that you can shake it and it won't spill all over the place because of its tight lid, whereas a, a plastic jar might spill. It's also easier to get out of the jar if it's a wide mouth and not one of those closed mouth ones, or if you store it in another container. But just know that you're responsible. Some glass can break in the freezer, so you just have to be careful. This one, I don't know if you could read it, but it says for freezing, fill here. So this is made for throwing in the freezer. So we've got heavy cream here and you wanna make sure it's got 36% fat in it. You need that good fat in it. And so the idea is we're gonna put about a cup of milk in here and we're gonna shake it like we're making whipped cream, sort of. We're probably gonna go just below a soft peak in terms of consistency. So you don't wanna fill it up too much and we also have to add the condensed milk. So I'm just gonna pour in a cup. Then I'm gonna pour in my condensed milk about four tablespoons, and then I'm gonna harvest out the vanilla bean seeds. Just in case you've never seen, inside of these little miniature, it almost looks like wet dirt. That is just pure vanilla, which is that precious bean. Pure vanilla right there. So I'm just gonna give it a little quick mix. You're gonna put that lid on really tight. And then you're gonna get a little shake weight workout going. You're gonna do this for like five minutes. If this is the workout the shake weight gave you, should have been doing that for years. So I got the feeling I was going a little crazy. This is my inner voice, thinking how ridiculous I'm being right now. Like I said, you can overshake this. Whew. See, it's not, it's not so watery anymore. That was about five minutes, I guess. Five minutes is a long time to do that. I was probably seconds away from over whipping it. Nope. You definitely over whipped it. So we're just gonna put this top on. This is me thinking I'm just gonna put it in the freezer and it's all gonna work out. Now it's ready to go to the freezer. It probably needs anywhere from three to six hours. Rumor has it if you wrap in 
some damp paper towel, it can expedite the process. So why don't we try that? Into the freezer, this goes. Remember, if you don't have a freezer safe glass mason jar, put it in something you know will be okay in the freezer. So I put it in the freezer and about an hour and a half later, I came back and I checked on it and it just was not right. I just had a bad feeling about it. Wasn't gonna try and pass this off as something that worked, but I knew I could do better. So I brought another jar out, mixed all the ingredients back in same way as before, and just tried to whip it to the proper consistency. So get the cap on, shake it. You don't gotta go crazy. The idea is we're just working air into it. When shake waiting, you want your back straight. You wanna do proper form. We do not want anybody injuring themselves. And that's the consistency we want. We want it to sort of flow off the spoon a little bit, coat the spoon nicely. It's just a nice viscous base. So we're gonna get the top on, back in the freezer, and give that about three hours to firm up. Okay, so it is about 7 p.m. My The first batch has been in for about four hours. The second batch has been in for about three. The first batch, let's face it, it was kind of a disaster. It didn't work out. I overmixed it. It kind of tastes like butter and it's chalky. It looks like ice cream. The texture is not so pleasant. I thought it would work, but it, you know, that's not, that's not great. It honestly doesn't taste so bad, but it's just not like delectable ice cream. I don't know. But let's try the other one. This one was much creamier. That looks much more like ice cream or how the way ice cream should behave than the other one. Let's give it a taste. Mm. I'm actually, if you can get the consistency right, is it the best ice cream you've ever had? Definitely not. But is it a fun way to make ice cream? Kids would love it. There's a really creamy consistency to this. It eats like regular ice cream, which I'm happy about. So I think we have a winner, just not this guy. It's good. I'm actually a fan. I really didn't expect it to be something I was actually gonna enjoy. So yeah, like I said, is it the best ice cream you're ever gonna have? I highly, highly doubt it. Custard ice creams are usually the way to go. It's just fun, it's easy, you can customize it in a lot of different ways, and if you don't have an ice cream machine or any sort of electronics at all in your kitchen, you can do it this way. Although, to be honest, you probably don't even need a mason jar, you could just do it with a whisk. But the jar works too. So as long as you got a mason jar, you can make ice cream. It's really good passable ice cream, given the method. Give it a shot, I'd love to hear what you think. Honest opinions, this was my honest opinion on the method. Thanks so much to my patrons scrolling up on the screen, supporting the channel, really appreciate you all. If you'd like to become a patron, there's a link down on the description and on the screen right now. Otherwise, that's all I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself. <laughs>